Hi, and welcome to your 7th iOS programming tutorial. And today, we are going to be looking at UI alert views, those alerts or pop-ups that appear when uh, a user might click an info button, when an error might occur, and they pretty much convey information, whether it be information, text, directions, it might be information about the actual app, it might be a please rate my app alert, it could be really anything um, they're offering used to display errors. So let me show you what an alert looks like. Essentially what we'll be doing today is we'll create a basic app with a button that when you click the button, an alert appears. And we'll customise title, text, add a second button, customise the cancel button text, and I'll show you how to pretty much customise the entire UI alert view. So let's get started. Open up Xcode and create a new Xcode project. I'm just going to create a single view application and call it Alerter. You can call yours whatever you want and again, all of this can be changed, but the only thing that need, you need to follow along with this is the using of automatic reference counting. That's very important. Click Create, and then go into your storyboard. Here we'll just add a single button that will say Display Alert or Show Alert. Then we will hook up an IB action to the alert. So go into your assistant editor by clicking on the little tuxedo icon on and then right click on your show alert button and drag it in between the at interface and at end lines of your view controller dot h we'll just call it show alert make sure the connection is an action the type is id argument sender and event touch up inside although you can customize the event if you know how to do that if you're not seeing what i'm seeing make sure you've got automatic selected and you then you've selected view controller dot h it's a common mistake that people can make. Now go into your viewcontroller.m and I'm just going to go back into my single view editor. Now we can start writing the code to display the alert. So first we need to create an instance of a UI alert view, essentially declaring a variable. Don't worry about what that means, just type UI alert view alert. Then we need to set the value of the alert view. So let's go equals and then open two square brackets and type UI alert view alloc. We need to give it some memory so we can give it some properties. And then close that set of square brackets and inside the next set type in it with title. And then inside the first blue bubble type at talking mark talking mark. Do the same for the second blue bubble. And to switch between the blue bubbles quickly just uh, press the tab key. Um, or you can click on them. For delegate type nil. Cancel button type at talking mark talking mark. And other button titles type nil. Close the square bracket and add a semicolon. Now we can start filling it in. Let me explain what it means. We're just setting the title of the alert, the message to be displayed in the alert, the delegate, the cancel button title, and any other buttons that we might want on the alert. So don't worry about what the delegate is. The cancel button is the text that appears on the button that dismisses the alert view when it's pressed. And if you wanted to add another button to your alert view, you could do that with other button titles. And I'll show you how to do that in a moment. Let's now set the title text, and we'll just set it to be title, and the message text. And let's just set that to be, this is my alert view message. For our cancel button title, I'm just going to make mine cancel, but you can make yours whatever you want. Let's run the application and see what happens. When you press the button, what should happen is, well, nothing. We've created the alert, but we haven't told it to show yet, and you will have noticed that when I just try clicking the button then. You'll also be getting a warning, unused variable alert. Essentially meaning you've created the variable alert, but you haven't done anything with it. We need to show the alert, and that just takes a single line of code. Just type alert, show, and add a semicolon. If you run the application again, it should now work. If you click show alert, our alert shows up with the title we gave it, the message we gave it, and the text for the cancel button title that we gave it. If I click cancel, it goes away. You're probably wondering how to customise UI alerts, because often you will have a custom colour theme to your app, and you don't just want the standard alert. And the fact is, you really can't customise the alerts. They're a standard system setting, and the only thing you can really change is the background colour, which isn't this blue, it's actually a transparent colour behind the blue. So it just looks really ugly, and it's not worthwhile doing. 
uh, if you do want to create a custom alert, you'll really have to create, uh, design your own alert and not use an N uh, UI alert view. Just create, like, a UI view controller. But that's a bit more complex, so don't worry about it for now. I said I'd show you how to add other buttons, so let me do that. Where we've got the two nil under other button titles, delete the first one and type at talking mark, talking mark. And we'll just say second button inside the talking marks. Run the application again, and you'll see we will have two buttons now. I could even do a third one by after this talking mark, adding a comma at talking mark, talking mark. Essentially, we're just listing all the titles of our button, and since they're strings, we need to start with at talking mark, and then the text, and then end with the talking mark, and then do a comma for the next thing in the list, and to end, we do comma nil. So let's call the second one third, ah, uh, sorry, the third button, third button. Let's run the application now, and you'll notice that what will happen is iOS will automatically rearrange the buttons to all fit inside the alert view by layering them. So, a button on top, another button, and then the cancel button, rather than having all three in a line. So, I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial, and if you've got any questions, be sure to leave a message, or message us directly through YouTube, Facebook, or visit our website, 99centsappdevelopment.com. If you do have any questions, it's probably about how you can then hook up actions to these other buttons, and I'll show you how to do that in a later tutorial. For now... Keep watching these tutorials and I hope you learn from them and be sure to like and subscribe and we'll see you next time.